Welcome to the first Detector Maps tutorial. Today I'll be walking you through the user interface of our desktop app and showing you some of its basic features. Let's get started. Once you're in the map screen, you can view your cursor coordinates on the map in the top of the screen in the coordinates panel. Click on the panel to swap between UTM and Latinbong coordinate systems. The zoom level is also displayed here, and this will be important later, so take note. To access the layer control panel at the Mabel or to several layers, click on the panel in the top left of your screen. From here, you can turn on and off key layers in your map. For instance, if we wanted to view the soils south of Charters Towers, we would simply navigate to the Geotem Street subsection in the Map Layers panel, click on the soils, and zoom to our area of interest. Due to the size of many of these data sets and to save on rendering speeds, most geochemistry will only appear below a zoom level of 11. Remember, your zoom level is located here in the coordinates panel. You can click on the information button next to each of the layer names in the layers panel to turn on the layers legend. Here is the legend for the soils in gold concentration by parts per billion. This information can be used to hone in on gold bearing areas very quickly, particularly where gold values exceed 100 ppb. Other layers you can view vary from state to state and are customised depending on the regulations in your chosen state. In Queensland, we have all of the general commission areas, restricted areas such as national parks and state forests, all cadastral parcels, large mineral tenements updated daily from the government, and detailed geology. Once you've turned a layer on, it'll become active in the opacity control window. You can use the slider in his swinger to adjust its transparency. Click on any layer in the map to view specific properties of one of the features within the map. If a layer is not selectable, it has no attribute information. A pop-up will appear next to a selective feature and a feature will highlight when it is selected. All the attributes will be visible in the attribute box pop-up. You can close this box to remove your selection. On the right hand side of the screen, you have access to a list of tools. Hung around at each tool to see what it does. At the top of a list is a search feature that can be used as an easy way to search for locations in your respective state. For instance, if I want to quickly zoom to Bouldercombe near Mount Morgan gold mine to view the surface sheet chemistry at Mount Morgan, you can simply type into this box and hit search. Below this is the waypoints button. And to add a waypoint, simply click on this button, select the location on the map you want to place a waypoint, and click Add Waypoint. You can also show and hide any of your waypoints on the map by clicking the Show Hide button located here. Below this is the Measurement button, which you can use to quickly measure distances on the map. You can also import or export your waypoints to KNL, shape files or geopackage formats using the buttons at the bottom of the tools panel. Make sure you select the file type you wish to import in your account settings, which are located here in the top part of the screen, before you attempt to import or export your waypoints. Use the toolbar in the bottom right corner of your screen to swap between your subscribed states. Some layers in the map will preload and cache whilst the loading screen completes. If you don't have access to a state, it will be greyed out. You can click one of these states to purchase access should you want it. In the top right of the screen, you can access your accounts manager and from here you can reset your password, cancel your subscriptions, log out of Detect Maps and select which type of waypoint format you would like to use.